Hey man, it's Filthy Rich, man. I'm sitting here with Dizzler.com. Make sure y'all subscribe below. Um, basically, um, you know, at one point, probably like last year or two years ago, I said I was going to like um, fall back from the music. I started focusing on different things. I was going to um, open up a salon. Uh, I started the dog breeding um, and uh, my own weed strain. So um, I just felt like I was using the music to get into different things as a stepping stone or whatever, you know, it, it, it's time consuming. So um, I wanted to fall back a little bit and focus on that. So I said I was going, you know, wasn't going to be rapping anymore. Um, but before I had decided to stop rapping, I was going to finish up all my um, sequels and, and uh, legacy to my tapes and stuff or whatever. So um, that's why you got part four. Yeah, part four is the last one of that one. It's SimCity Money Man 4. Um, what else? Uh, four. Hood Rich 4, Neighborhood Superstar 4. I'm just stopping at 4. Yeah, me and Stevie, we're going to end up doing Filthy Fresh 4. And then um, the remix is 4. I got 1 and 2 out right now. I think 1 or 2 of the tapes already had them out at 4. So I'm like, I'm done at 4. You know what I'm saying? I could go back and stop at 5, but... It's like, fuck it, I'll just stop at four. I like them all, because they all got different feelings, different things going on. But like the record I like that I think that's going to um, change, you know, probably in the next single, you know what I'm saying, will be Exhausted, uh, featuring TK Kravitz. It's a uh, big record, um, um, radio, female friendly, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I like that record. I like the Dope Boy record with Rex Life and um, All Black. Um, on the street level, I like the um, My Shit with T Grizzly. Um, the Off Safety with T.O. and Mozzie and Ziggy. I like that one also. I got some, there's some, there's some dope shit on there for sure. Yeah, so um, I think the one exhausted with um, T.K. Kravitz would be a big record for me. That's great that he had a, a successful show. That's great. So maybe they can start letting me have successful shows again back in Sacramento. You know, um, I just had posted a paper like not too long ago. Like I've, I've been doing shows in Sacramento, you know, um, years ago. You know what I'm saying? So um, I guess like somebody like was calling clubs like out in Sacramento and out here. You know, so like they don't let me do shows in Oakland either, but that's that's great that the um that it turned out so now they can see that that, you know, he's able to come to Oakland and do shows and I should be able to go to Oakland, I mean to Sac and do shows and in Oakland. You get what I'm saying? Like I can't even do shows here. But I don't I don't know, like like motherfuckers probably was like wanted, you know, me or somebody or to go up there and do something to him, but like I'm not like, y'all got to understand, like, that shit that happened, like, with him or whatever, I came home from jail to that issue. That was going on before I got out of jail. And when I got out of jail, it was, like, 2008, when I first met him in, in the club in Pinkies. So, uh, that's, like, 10 years. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm... It's gonna be nothing's happened to me, nothing's happened to him on my behalf. So I'm not I'm not beefing with this guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I probably seen him twice. You know what I'm saying? Once in Vegas, once in Sac then, and that's that. Like it ain't been nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't got no problem with him. I'm happy for him. You get what I'm saying? Period. Like I the one told you guys to post the Sacramento artist. When when um when it was brought to my attention that people were saying that um Certain people felt like they was being blackballed or because Dizzler wasn't messing with them and this, this, and this. I, I don't want to tell y'all to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't got no issue with dude. I'm happy that they, um, that the show was great because if something would have happened, even if it wasn't on, you know, my call or anything, they still would have tried to blame me for it. You know? Just by me being who I am. So I'm happy that nothing did happen. I'm, I'm, that's great, you know what I'm saying? So now y'all see that, you know, I mean, really, that was just, that was rap shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't, 
that nobody, nobody slid through my block and did nothing. You get what I'm saying? Nobody wasn't looking for him or no shit like that. So that shit, that shit over with, bro. Like I'm not, I'm not worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, much success to him and keep that shit going, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they let me come rocking sack, man, because I can't wait, man. I love sack, man. I, that was like part of my, um, you know, like my buzz and shit, like back in the day. Like I used to damn near live in SAC. Like I had so many bitches in SAC. Like I used to perform at the Caribbean and like get out the club at two, blast straight to SAC. You know what I'm saying? I had so many bitches out there. Like it was it was good, but yeah, man, that's that's great, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully one of you promoters could book me, man. I'm ready to come. So that so what that is doing right now, so that's taking away, that's taking away from all the real rappers. All the real rappers that's talking about uh, all the real rappers that's talking about the murders that they actually committed or the crimes they actually committed and opening the doors for the fake rappers that haven't even stole a snicker. You get what I'm saying? But rapping like they just, you know, I mean, not to condone in that of any of the, you know, the violence or anything like that, but it is what it is. So if you actually caught a case, if you actually did some time, if you actually did something wrong, we can't fuck with you. But the nerds, we can fuck with y'all. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I look at shit. You know, I didn't even know nothing about it till now, but that's how I look at shit, period. Like you can just come out and say anything. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I don't know. See, man, me, I don't these bitches be out of pocket. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, do something. You pop in, I don't want to bring you down. Then all with the Bill Cosby shit and all that shit, like, come on, man. That, that shit crazy. I don't know, man. I don't stay away from these faggot ass bitches for real. Because they look at you as like money. You get what I'm saying? They don't look at you as like, oh, this is my soulmate, or I love him, or I want to I want to be with him forever. They're like, man, that nigga popping. That nigga got 10 chains. That nigga got foreign's house. Man, I come up off him. You know what I'm saying? Like even a bra that was at Chris Brown's house, like a friend brought her over there. He didn't bring her over there, and then the bitch tried to say that they raped her. Like you can just say anything just to cause problems. Now you got the police at this nigga house. You know what I'm saying? Task force trying to, it, what if this nigga got something else going on at the house and this bitch didn't draw the tension up over there? So it's just, yeah, man, motherfuckers really gotta tighten up with this shit for real. Cause a bitch will bring you down, man. She, mm, bitch brought King Kong down, for real. I mean, if they rapists and they convicted of it and they really did it, then that's something different. But the ones that just females are trying to put charges on a nigga because they got money and doing something, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But if that's what you choose to do, not put rapists on there, okay, cool. That's not that's none of my business. But if you do do it, I would think it would be for the for the real rapists. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not a nigga that's popping in in the club and touch a girl booty. You feel me? Touch a bitch ass because she all dancing on him. And now he touch her ass, now she mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's stupid shit. That's not, I'm not talking about that. Like, I don't, like if, you, if you really a real rapist, like in a, in a gated community, walking around, women outside jogging and hit them in the head with the baton and take them outside the house and really rape them and DNA in them and shit, that's something to, that's, that should be for that. But I'm, come on, man. I'm talking about the nigga that's in the limelight in the club, you know, these groupies is on them, all that type of shit. And they might even take the bitch to the room and fuck. You get what I'm saying? And oh, and then when she leave, girl, you fucked Kodak last night? You better say he raped you. You get what I'm mean? saying? That's, that's the fake shit. Like, wasn't it a broad on Nelly Bus try to say that he raped her too? Like, a bitch to try to say Usher gave her herpes. Like, that's the fake shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then the bitch don't even got herpes. And she never even fucked him. Like, come on, man. But you just, you put a strain on this man's life. This man got kids. This man got a wife. All type of shit. Like, it's crazy, bro. This, this world is really crazy. With certain people, like it's been a lot of people that came on, came into my life or whatever, and I helped in um, different ways, you know, to be successful. And they uh, changed later on. And um, I just realized, like, when you meet these people, you meet them in character, especially the rappers. They they they're rappers, so they're in character. You don't when they when you meet them, they don't say, "Hey, ten years ago I was a snitch. Hey, five years ago I was a thief." Uh, Hey, I'm not a loyal person. You get what I'm saying? Nobody comes out and just 
tells you that they have a sign on their head to, you know, let you know when you meet them. So you really have to interact with these people and find out later on. So, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just life, really. You get what I'm saying, you know, and because certain certain things, you know, you can overlook, but certain things you can't. You get what I'm saying. I feel like, um, you know, it it leads genuine people to believe that you're genuine. You get what I'm saying, and then you're really not. Really keep it real, like I just don't like, I just don't like, you know, unloyal people around me. You get what I'm saying? I should be able to put 20,000 on the table and you not go over there and take $100 out or leave my chain over here and don't come up missing or my car keys or whatever. So, you know, if I can't trust you to a certain extent, you get what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't even be around you.